Hey guys, welcome back to Red Iron Adventure. I've got a very quick, short video for you today just to give you a little bit of an update on what's been going on for about the last week at our property. So let's get going. guys so like i said this is red iron adventure my name is brian and this is our house being built in austin county the west side of houston um out in the suburb i'm not in the suburb but i'm sorry out in the country um we have a murray floor plan being built by america's home place it is about 2,000 square feet four bed two bath and uh, we are moving right along in this process um, we started building uh, they poured the slab on december 23rd it is now currently uh february 28th um so we've gone a little over two months since they got started with the slab pour and man things are progressing for sure uh, i just stopped by the house today to uh, I actually am meeting um, a gentleman about our propane tank and then I also needed to come out here and talk with um, one of the subcontractors about one of the some of the flat work and the concrete that we're going to be pouring and so I figured I would show you guys around just a little bit while I'm here um, first and foremost there is a framer here working inside the house in the showers um, they are getting uh, ready to put all the tile up today and tomorrow and so he had to do one more thing um, beyond that um, the countertops are supposed to arrive tomorrow which we're very very excited about so um, this is gonna be a good weekend for us we're gonna get to see some really cool pretty stuff go in um, so I know Haley is very excited about seeing how that looks um, I also was walking around the property just taking a look at what's going on and I noticed that the um, the lines and the spray heads for the septic system have been put in we haven't had the tanks installed yet but we do have the spray heads and the lines run for the aerobic portion of um, that system so that is really cool uh, we're gonna be spreading that out in the front part of the pasture part, part of the lawn um, so we'll have some really green spots apparently so um, I do think it's really odd that they say that with the current um, technology that's used in these septic tanks that by the time it sprays out the spray head it is technically clean enough to drink um, I don't think you will ever see me or anyone in my family drinking it but if you do more power to you um, it is really cool to think that it's that clean though so really cool stuff um, and then last but certainly not least we have the electric meter it's right right there it's sticking out from the side of the house if you can see it um, we are super super excited um, now the meters up the connections are all done we've got we ran it overhead um, and so we're super excited about that because now we can um, not have any more delays in terms of um, having electricity to work on stuff in fact one of the problems we have today is that the uh, framer who's here Nobody told him to bring a generator, and so uh, we had to borrow power from a neighbor real quick. Uh, he only made it, needed to make like two or three cuts, so it's really not that big a deal. Um, but it was super nice that the neighbors were willing to let us use their um, their power supply just for that little bitty project. So um, we very much appreciate that. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Like I said, tomorrow is countertops. Um, the cabinets are looking good. They have not come back to fix anything yet. Um, but in case anyone was really concerned, I'm, I am not not hating or throwing shade on America's Home Place or Kent Moore for the cabinets or and I'm not I'm not throwing shade on the uh, installer he did a great job especially for working alone um, and so it's just little stuff and that's what happens when you build a house there's always a punch list at the end this just happened to be the punch list item that he was working on uh, or that needs to be done because of his portion of the project so we know it'll get taken care of we're not uh, we're not like significantly upset or anything like that so um, we know it's just part of the process so anyways um, we're super excited and thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey as always if you have not done so before please hit subscribe right down here or maybe it's over there i don't know it's one of these corners it's a red button that says subscribe we do video uh, updates throughout the progress of the building of this home um, we are hoping to bring you a couple other homes as well that america's home place is doing in our community uh, we want to be able to kind of share not just our project but some of the other projects they're doing because they've got some really cool stuff and one of my favorite things is that a lot of it is um, owner inspired the owners come in and make all of their own selections 
And so um, I know that I had mentioned early on in this process that we um, have been following um, a, a couple who we found on Instagram. Um, the house that Faith built, I believe, is their, their Instagram name. Um, they have a two-story... Um, I think it's a Grayson floor plan that America's Home Place is building, and it is super cool. Um, and to see the photos and the work that they are putting into that house is really, really impressive. And I know that, uh, I believe it's Kay is her name. She has done an amazing job of picking out some absolutely phenomenal finishes and features for that house. And so it looks absolutely stunning. Um, and so I will definitely try and see if we can get a time to go out there and uh, to, to view their house and share that with you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of our journey and we will catch you next time. See you.